CAMAG vehicle. Slag, a byproduct from the production of metal, is widely used to make building materials such as bricks and tiles, and as an additive to cement. Special containers of hardened materials resistant to high temperatures are used to extract the slag while still hot. This is necessary, since the incandescent slag can reach 1300 degrees Celsius. Vehicles with high strength bodies deliver the containers with the hot material to their destination and automatically overturn them at the point of discharge. It's noteworthy that for this, the operator does not need to leave the cabin. Thus, safety is ensured when working at extremely high temperatures. BLG 60 This armoured bridge was a joint development of East Germany and Poland. When deployed, the bridge has a total length of 21.6 meters, a width of 3.2 meters, and a height of 0.8 meters. It can cover a maximum clearance of 20 meters in length, thereby significantly increasing the patency in any terrain. The BLG-60 has a maximum load capacity of 50,000 kilograms. The main external differences between the BLG-60 and its predecessor, the MT-55A, are the surface of the bridge, as well as the wheels of the pulleys. In addition, the BLG-60 has a collective security system and equipment for underwater driving. It should be noted that there is an updated version of the BLG-60 bridge builder under the destination BLG-67, which is currently used in Bulgaria and Poland. Leopard 2 Laguan just like the last one, this vehicle is designed to quickly install bridges in battlefields for better passage of heavy equipment. The tank stands out for its modernized guidance system, as well as new designed bridge. The car is based on the Leopard 2 tank. The crew consists of a driver and a commander or operator. The driver's seat is located in the front right part of the hull and is similar to the driver's seat of the conventional Leopard 2. The commander sits to the left of the driver at the front boom in a separate hatch. The tank is equipped with a small bulldozer blade installed in the front of the hull. It's used to prepare a section under the bridge clear obstacles and stabilize the machine during the bridge building process. The additional equipment of the tank bridge layer also includes containers and baskets for storage around the tower and at the rear of the hull. On request, the same auxiliary power unit can be installed. Instead of a bridge, this version is able to deploy two separate bridges. Each bridge is 14 meters long and they're carried on top of each other on the roof of the hull. In order to build bridges separately, the tank is equipped with two guidance devices. Cometo MTH-30 This unusual vehicle, similar to a towing platform, is in fact a portal conveyor. It's used for transportation of long cargoes and has a total carrying capacity of 30 tons. The electronic steering system provides unique maneuverability for this type of vehicle. Thanks to it, 
The Komato MTH-30 can be used in metallurgy, shipbuilding, the timber industry, and many other industries. The overall length of the conveyor is 6.8 meters, the overall width is 3.4 meters, and the weight of the car is 23.5 tons. Despite this, the Komato MTH-30 can reach 15 km per hour without cargo, and up to 10 at maximum load. The conveyor is powered by a diesel engine and has four wheels. Komatsu D-155W This unique Japanese bulldozer, capable of working underwater, can engage in various works at the bottom of the water. For example, clearing the bay and raking mud and debris ashore for cleaning. It should be noted that the bulldozer was developed back in 1971 and is completely remote controlled. These machines can work at a depth for up to 7 minutes without losing speed or productivity and also overcome obstacles even underwater. Unfortunately, the production of the Komatsu D-155W was stopped in 1993. The reason for this was the lack of demand. However, several bulldozers still operate today, successfully coping with their work. L60 Log Stacker The rated lifting capacity of this loader exceeds 27 tons, making it better than similar vehicles on the market. At the same time, a car can reach speeds of up to 35.4 km per hour thanks to its 430 horsepower engine. With a half fuel consumption and two times the service life, the L60 provides maximum efficiency and reliability in all phases of operation. The increased height of the cab guarantees maximum visibility, and its internal arrangement ensures comfort even in bad weather conditions. Service compartments accessible at ground level simplify everyday maintenance tasks and make it possible for one operator to use the vehicle. Senabogan 870. This vehicle can be equipped with both Caterpillar tracks and standard wheels, depending on the field of application. It's also mounted on a stable fixed platform, in case the work involves a lot of weight or is performed in one place. Very often, the Senabogan 870 is used for transshipment of scrap, bulk and piece materials in ports, as well as in steel making plants. The Caterpillar chassis is suitable for particularly complex bases, for example in a scrapyard or... Tatra 813 This heavy truck has been produced by the Czech company Tatra since 1968. 
This model is equipped with four braking systems. A pneumatic brake with three independent chains acts on all the wheels of the truck as well as on the wheels of the trailer. The Tatra 813 has an air-cooled 12-cylinder engine with a 250 horsepower capacity as well as a 10-speed manual transmission. The load capacity of the car is approximately 3 tons. The maximum speed that this car can develop during the transport of loads reaches 80 km per hour. The base of the Tatra 813 is a single-column tube-shaped frame, within which the transmission elements are located. This frame is very resistant to bending and torsion. Also worth noting is the high capacity of the Tatra 813. The truck feels very safe on any surface in various conditions, and in addition, the car can overcome fords with a depth of up to 1 meter. Panther Rosenbauer, one of the oldest manufacturers of firefighting equipment, presented the fourth generation of the Panther platform, whose main purpose is to extinguish fires in airports. The triaxial version of this vehicle is capable of speeds of up to 120 km per hour. The weight of the car is 39 tons. Panther is equipped with a 16.1-litre Volvo D16 engine and a capacity of 750 horsepower at 1800 rpm. This car holds approximately 12,500 litres of water and 250 kilograms of powder. The transmission of the Panther Rosenbauer is designed in such a way that it's possible to operate the pump unit from a traction motor directly in motion, even during low speed movement. Additional devices are used for this such as a power takeoff mechanism for the automatic transmission. It's also worth noting the power divider, which allows simultaneous driving, operation of the pump unit, as well as a transfer case to distribute the torque over the bridges. Ferret. The base of this vehicle is the British military car Ferret of 1959. The modified version of the car has six huge tyres, produced by the Toyo Open Country Company, installed on the wheels made according to the original design. Two wheels are driven by hydraulic motors controlled from the inside. The King shock suspension allows the vehicle to move easily over difficult terrain to overcome any obstacle. But the rear of the car is a powerful 8-cylinder Chevrolet LS engine with a volume of 5.7 litres. At the top is a launcher with a hook connected to the winch cable. Thanks to this addition, this ferret is an all-terrain vehicle for driving through sand, rock and rough terrain, which also moves through any obstacle and can cross any ford. Chetra TM140 This all-terrain floating vehicle with a crawler drive system can carry up to 3.5 tons of cargo. At the same time, the maximum capacity on the water increases to 4 tons. The mobility of the TM140 is provided by the Yar MZ236B2 diesel engine with a capacity of 250 horsepower, additionally equipped with turbocharging. The ATV has a hydromechanical transmission through which the engine torque is transmitted to the rear wheels. There is also a six-speed transmission with electro-hydraulic switching. The maximum road speed of the Chetra TM140 is approximately 45 km per hour. To cross obstacles in the water, the movement is carried out by rewinding the tracks, the maximum speed in the water does not exceed 4 km per hour. The car has a total length of 7.8 meters, a width of 3.1 meters, and a height of 3.1 meters too. It's also worth noting that the distance from the ground is 45 centimeters. This guarantees the possibility of moving on different surfaces. B. 
Burlack. This six-wheel amphibious car stands out for its airtight cab and the presence of a propeller, which allows the car to remain in the water and maneuver between ice breaks. At the front, the Burlack is equipped with the Toyota 1KD FTV turbo diesel engine, which has 170 horsepower at 1800 RPM. The vehicle has an automatic gearbox, and the steering is controlled by a hydraulic cylinder. The suspension of this off-road vehicle is independent, with two levers and springs, and its movement is 200 mm, which allows a distance capacity of up to 750 mm. The displacement of each wheel is 1.2 tons, the cruising speed on hard ground is 60 km per hour, and the maximum speed is 88 km per hour. In the water, the Burlak reaches up to 6 km per hour. The dry weight of the car is 3.7 tons, and when working, it's approximately 7 tons. The load capacity of this off-road vehicle without loss of floatability is 2 tons. Vityaz DT30 PM The design of this two-link crawler truck provides a great ability to cross any terrain at all seasons, whether off-road or on an underdeveloped road network. The weight of the Vityaz DT30 PM reaches 30 tons, and the load capacity of this vehicle also reaches approximately 30 tons. The ACV is equipped with an 800 horsepower engine. The maximum speed developed by the DT30 PM over the water is approximately 6 km per hour, while the land speed can reach 45 km per hour. It's worth noting that the car can overcome obstacles when fully charged. The maximum angle of ascent or descent on dry ground is 30 degrees, and the maximum angle of heel is 15 degrees. The Vityaz DT30 PM is equipped with hydromechanical transmission and a single-stage hydrodynamic transformer. With higher loads in particularly severe road conditions, this design provides a smooth change in transmitted torque depending on the driving resistance. Peterbilt NRC 50CS The American company Peterbilt Motors has been producing classic trucks and tractors since 1939. Among its inventions is this black car. The Peterbilt 389 is equipped with a special NRC 50CS device, which is basically a small crane. This equipment has a high level of load that reaches 50 tons. The length of the boom is 2.5 meters, and it should be noted that all elements and devices installed in the Peterbilt NRC 50CS are electronic and do not require manual control. Mercedes-Benz LG 1519 this off-road truck was first introduced in 1976. The vehicle is equipped with a 192 horsepower five-cylinder engine, and in addition, the LG 1519 has a six-speed manual transmission, as well as the original suspension produced by Mercedes-Benz. Initially, this truck was designed to transport military weapons, and for this reason, the vehicle was also known as the artillery tractor.